Do you want to record a voiceover? Using InShot, I can show you how. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here and you're looking for technology tips, tricks, and tutorials, you've come to the right place. If you find this video helpful, subscribe. This is part 10 in my InShot series. I'm glad you've been enjoying it so far. If you'd like to watch the other videos to get caught up, keep an eye out for the YouTube card on screen later in the video, or check out the playlist in the description below. Let's record a voiceover using InShot. Load in your video clip, then tap the music note and tap record. Start speaking once the three second countdown finishes. As you do it, you'll notice a red bar moving along the video clip. If you need to redo or change the voiceover at any point, just tap the microphone to begin recording again. Start speaking once the countdown finishes. As you do, the red bar will move along the clip. In this clip, I'm describing what happens when you load a video for the first time versus loading a video you've already been working on. Tap the record button once more to stop recording once you're done. Tap the check mark to accept the recording. Tap the X to cancel the recording. Or tap the arrow to redo the recording. Tap the check mark. And then tap the check mark again. To save the completed video, tap the share icon and tap save. When you do, processing will begin. As usual, do not lock the screen or switch between apps while this is happening. If you do, the video may not save properly. When processing is complete, you will find the saved video clip inside your video library. Let's take a look at the completed clip. If I tap the video icon now, you can see that I have two options, last draft and new. If I tap last draft, it will load the video that I was last working on, exactly as it was the last time I closed the app. This frame is inappropriate for this video. Let's remove it. Now if we close the app and open it again, you can see the clock. Tap the video icon. To add a different video, tap new. Here's the video selection screen. Choose the video clip you want to work with, and it will be loaded into the app. I love Mike's videos. Please subscribe to his channel for more tips, tricks, and tutorials. If you have a problem with any part of this process, leave a comment below so I can help you. Don't forget to click that thumbs up if you liked the video. Coming up next, I'll show you how to use stickers. Please feel free to check out some of my other videos suggested on screen. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.